Episode 9 has wrapped principal photography, but will it be enough to bring balance to the Star Wars fandom? My name is Tom, I've got to get back to Jakku, and this is Tom's Tag. Now I know you saw the title of this video and you probably thought to yourself But the last Jedi ruined my life, how can episode 9 possibly be any good? Well calm your metachlorians, because I'm about to tell you. No matter what you think of The Last Jedi, J.J. Abrams is making episode 9 and we should all be pulling for him to make a very good Star Wars movie. I believe that episode 9 is going to be a great Star Wars film and I have a couple of reasons why I believe that and I'm going to explain. Reason number one, the biggest thing that I noticed when The Force Awakens came out as compared to when The Last Jedi came out was people were talking about The Force Awakens and how it felt like Star Wars again. After some people were disappointed with the prequels, the biggest compliment people were paying The Force Awakens was that this finally feels like we're back in the original trilogy kind of feel again. And The Last Jedi, I didn't see any of those kind of compliments going around that film. There are things about The Last Jedi that I certainly like, but I do have problems with it and it isn't a perfect movie. And to a lot of people, The Last Jedi, as compared to The Force Awakens, didn't really feel like Star Wars. Episode 9 has so much potential to be good and I think one of the main reasons it has the potential to be good is because Episode 8 didn't end on a cliffhanger. It didn't put J.J. Abrams in a tricky situation to ride his way out of as J.J. Abrams did for Ryan Johnson. When The Force Awakens left off, you had Rey and Luke on a cliff. The Resistance was in a state of total panic because the First Order knew where they were and they were about to just obliterate their base. And so there were lots of story threads that Ryan Johnson had to pick up from The Force Awakens and carry on with immediately. He couldn't really do much else to get out of that. J.J. Abrams, on the other hand, basically has a clean slate to take Episode 9 and do whatever he wants with it. The creative doors, so to speak, for J.J. Abrams are wide open. He can basically tell a whole brand new standalone story and aside from the inevitable confrontation between Rey and Kylo Ren, Ryan Johnson didn't put J.J. Abrams in a creative box. J.J. Abrams, there are no tricky sort of writing problems that J.J. Abrams has to get out of from where The Last Jedi left off. Now, Ryan Johnson and J.J. Abrams both love and understand Star Wars. I personally think that J.J. Abrams understands what Star Wars is a little bit better than a Ryan Johnson, but nonetheless, these are both Star Wars fans. However, I did prefer The Force Awakens to The Last Jedi, and I do think J.J. Abrams is overall a better creative than Ryan Johnson is. And I think most people preferred the tone of The Force Awakens than they did to The Last Jedi, and with J.J. Abrams coming back, he's probably going to bring that exact same tone that he set with Episode 7 to Episode 9, and I think we're in for a very special, entertaining, fun movie. From everything we've heard, it sounds like Episode 9 is going to do what we wanted with The Force Awakens and especially with The Last Jedi, and that is to see Rey, Poe, and Finn together on an adventure because for the most part, for the previous two movies, they've been separated and split up and we haven't seen the new trio of the Star Wars saga together on an adventure. And we're probably going to get that with Star Wars Episode 9. Hashtag where's my title. You also have an Academy Award winning and nominated screenwriter Chris Terrio writing the script with J.J. Abrams and those two guys are creative geniuses and I think combined with those two and all the knowledgeable people at Lucasfilm, Episode 9 has the potential to be a fantastic Star Wars movie. Now we may love it and we may hate it. But I think from what I've seen online, more people in mass preferred The Force Awakens to The Last Jedi, no matter what your problems are with either of those films. And I think J.J. Abrams coming back, bringing more of that sensibility that he did to The Force Awakens with Episode 9, it has the potential to get more people on board with the decisions that they take in Episode 9 than Ryan Johnson had with The Last Jedi. And again, I'm someone who really likes The Last Jedi, but of course it does have its issues and it's not a perfect movie. But I would just encourage everybody, you guys out there, Star Wars fans like me, be positive about Episode 9, no matter how you felt about the previous Disney Star Wars movies. Now look, Disney's not perfect with their Star Wars movies, but they've done some good things. And I feel like we should all just be pulling for J.J. Abrams to do a good job with Episode 9. Be hopeful. Believe in the Force. J.J. Abrams will deliver an Episode 9 that I think is going to make a lot of people, the majority of Star Wars fans, very, very happy. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell so that you never miss out on my take 
on all things movies. Make sure to check out some of my other discussion videos in the sidebar here in my other 2019 or 2018 movie reviews, whatever you feel like checking out. Check out some of my other videos. My name is Tom. May the force be with you, and I will see you guys next time.